The graphics card market is great this month, especially compared to previous ones. We are definitely seeing some of the biggest price improvements of the year. Now, the GPU is the most important component when it comes to gaming performance, so if you get this one wrong, because maybe you don't have enough PC knowledge, you are going to be suffering from stutters and potentially wasting a lot of money. That's why I'm going to be breaking down the best graphics cards of the month for every budget and resolution, going from 1080p budget-oriented GPUs to 1440p value ones to the most expensive 4K maxed out GPUs out there. And by the way, you will find the link to each graphics card down below in the video description with the latest prices and availability in your region. So if the price is different, you will find the most updated pricing. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's start. If you are looking for a more budget-oriented graphics card, yet you're looking for great gaming performance at 1080p, ultra settings, or maybe you want to play some 1440p gaming, but you do not want to spend a lot of money, I do recommend you getting the RX 9060 XT 16GB model, which as of right now is going for 350 bucks. This graphics card is amazing when it comes to gaming performance, especially when it comes to 1080p ultra settings, but again, you can easily use it for 1440p smooth gameplay. In fact, in high demanding titles at 1440p, you will be able to achieve well over 70 plus FPS on average, which is great gaming performance. And since you get 16GB of VRAM, you will have no VRAM related issues, which is going to be a huge plus. Now, this is in my opinion, one of the best value graphics cards out there. And the only time I wouldn't recommend you buying this one is if you want to play at 4K ultra settings in high demanding titles. But even if you want to play at 4K and you want to play easy to run games such as Valorant, Fortnite, or maybe you want to play popular games like GTA 5 or Red Dead Redemption 2, even in those games, you can easily play at 4K. Now, if you want an NVIDIA GPU instead, for 430 bucks, you can get the 5060 Ti 16GB model, which is basically the same compared to the AMD RX 9060 XT, but since it's from NVIDIA, you get a better level of ray tracing performance, which might be interesting for you, and you get DLSS, which is the better upscaler overall compared to FSR from AMD. So, if you want to spend the premium for NVIDIA, you will also find the 5060 Ti down below in the video description box. Now, if you are looking for the best value you 1440p graphics card, so you want to play at 1440p in high demanding games, high to ultra settings, and still achieve amazing performance, and I'm talking about over 90 plus FPS on average in these high demanding titles, then I do recommend you getting either the NVIDIA RTX 5070 or the AMD RX 9070. Now, as of right now, both graphics cards are going for around the same price, so it's up to you whether you want to go with NVIDIA or AMD. Just keep in mind that with both of these graphics cards, you will be achieving top tier performance at 1440p, and you can even play at 4K resolution in high demanding games, depending on the exact game and the settings. But with these GPUs, you can easily play at 60 plus FPS on average in high demanding games at 4K. So these are also great value if you don't want to spend more than 600 USD on a GPU, yet you want the possibility to play at 4K down the line. Now, again, whether you want to go AMD or Nvidia is up to you. Just keep in mind that the AMD graphics card has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So if you're concerned about VRAM long-term, then go with AMD. And also the 9070 is just slightly faster when it comes to gaming performance compared to the 5070. Now the 5070 has DLSS, which, as I said before, is the better upscaling technology. So if you will be playing games at 1440p maxed out settings and you want to use DLSS, or if you play at 4K, then the 5070 might be the better option for you. Both are going for the price of around 550 bucks, and most of the time the 9070 goes for around 600 dollars. So if you see those prices, 500 for the 5070 and 600 for the 9070, I would 100% recommend you going for the 5070 if you want the best price to performance. But if they are going for the same price, it's really up to you. Now, if you want to either max out 1440p resolution gaming or you want the best value 4k graphics card i do recommend you getting the rx 9070 xt from amd or the nvidia rtx 5070 ti both of these gpus will be amazing when it comes to 1440p in any game at any setting even if you want to play with ray tracing enabled so if you want to play the latest most high demanding games out there on high to ultra settings and you want to max out this resolution these graphics cards will be perfect and you will be averaging well over 120 plus fps and then if you want to play at 4k instead you will be achieving over 70 plus fps on average which is really strong performance considering that we are talking about the highest resolution here. Now, also both of these GPUs have 16 gigabytes of VRAM, so you will have no issues when it comes to VRAM, even at 4K high to ultra settings in high demanding titles. And the 9070 XT, as of right now, is going for around 670 bucks, while the 5070 Ti is going for 750 dollars. So yes, the 5070 Ti is around 100 dollars more expensive, so if you want the best price of performance at 4K, for example, the 9070 XT will be better, because in terms of rasterized performance, it's very similar to the 5070 Ti, and it's quite cheaper as of right now. But again, if you want the more premium GPU with a better upscaling technology and better ray tracing performance, the 5070 Ti might be the better option for you and it might be better for you to invest a little bit more. Now, if you want to play at 4K ultra settings and you want more of a high-end GPU rather than a value one, I do recommend you spending more and going with the RTX 5080, which as of right now is going at its MSRP of $1,000. Now, this is a very expensive GPU and it's not that much better than the 5070 Ti. In fact, the 5080 will average around 90 plus FPS in high demanding games on high to ultra 
Ultra settings at 4K, while the 5070 Ti is going to average around 80 plus FPS. So it's only around a 10 FPS difference on average. It's not going to be huge, but still it is better. And if you play at 4K and you have around $1,000 to spend on a new GPU, this one is going to be perfect. And last but not least, if you want to max out 4K, you don't care about money and you just want the best graphics card out there. Of course, the best one is going to be the RTX 5090, which as of right now is going for $2,300. It's a very expensive graphics card. But again, if you just want the fastest performance out there for right now and also for the future, the 5090 will be the perfect graphics card for you and you will be achieving the fastest performance at 4K no matter the type of game. By the way, if you're working with a tight budget, as a bonus, I do recommend you considering the Intel Arc B580, which is a budget graphics card that can run any game at 1080p high to ultra settings and you can also play at 1440p very smoothly depending on the game and depending on the settings and the price is only 250 bucks. So if you're working with a very tight budget and you want the best sweet spot graphics card for 1080p or some 1440p gaming, I recommend you getting that Intel GPU that you will find down below in the video description as well. And if you're building a new PC yourself or you want to buy a new gaming PC, I do recommend you watching my video on the best gaming PCs of the month. You will find two videos, one for PC builds and the other one for pre-built PCs. Those PCs will have the best GPU and CPU combos inside, which is very important because yes, you can have the best graphics card out there, but if the CPU is bottlenecking your graphics card, the GPU will not be reaching its max potential, which can lead to bottlenecks and FPS drops. So I highly recommend you watching those videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.